If you are color grading a video project, you might not know that there is an additional tool at your disposal that can offer quick and interesting color grading ideas. And that's blend modes. Just like the ones you might be familiar with from Photoshop, where they are used for image compositing. But blend modes are also a great help in the context of color grading. Final Cut Pro includes blend modes for image compositing. With a bit of effort, they could be used during color grading. You would need to add a color generator to the timeline, duplicate clips, and keep them together at all times. This is messy, takes time, and can simply discourage you from trying to experiment with blend modes for color grading. Since Color Finale 2 uses a layer-based approach for applying color edits to a clip, like in other layer-based editors, there is a classic selection of blend modes to choose from alongside layer opacity and masks. In this mini-tutorial, we'd like to highlight one blend mode in particular that can instantly add both contrast and color to your clips, soft light. But first, a brief explanation of blend modes. Blend modes, also called transfer modes, are recipes that tell the layer editor how consecutive layers are combined with previous layers. Suppose you have a source, your original, uncorrected image. Every color correction operation we apply creates a new image layer that goes on top of it. The original image is still there, but its pixels are replaced by the pixels modified by the color grading operation. For example, the Telecine color wheels. If no blend mode is applied to this layer and opacity stays at 100%, we simply see the result of this correction. But if we decrease its opacity or start going through blend modes, the original image might become visible again. Its pixels are combined with the current layer in various interesting ways. Added, multiplied, transformed based on the values of incoming pixels and many others. Each blend mode has a purpose in solving creative problems. One great blend mode to use for color grading is soft light. Soft light instantly gives a boost of contrast by darkening anything if the color of the top layer is below mid-gray and vice versa if it's above mid-gray, while gently adding in any color picked from the color wheels. Here are three examples of using soft light in different scenes to create a look with just a few operations. This clip is in log, so we'll select Assume Log in Color Management first. Apply color wheels in the Layers panel and select Soft Light from the Blend Modes drop-down list. Just by selecting a blend mode, more contrast has instantly been added. This is because Color Finale 2 temporarily creates copies of the image when a new layer is added, and they get flattened into the existing image before being outputted. But no matter how many layers are added, the final result gets calculated in one quick pass, which means sustained fast performance as more effects are added. Now, by using the color wheels, we can paint the shadow regions and highlights in one go. Check on the waveform that no colors are going out of safe range, and we are good to go. Here, we are adding a green-blue color cast to create a more dramatic, thriller look with soft light. And for this example, we first used RGB curves to reveal more texture in the sky, and then a color wheels layer to add yellow-orange to complement the scene. Blend modes are a useful way of compositing color edits and effects, and we've shown how one of the blend modes, soft light, can instantly add so much to your clip just by selecting it in the menu and adding some color to that layer. Follow along with our free 7-day trial, link in the description. Experiment with the other blend modes too, like screen and hard light, and see where the result takes you. Thanks for watching this mini tutorial. Consider subscribing to our channel and enabling notifications to catch new videos as they are released. See you in the next one. Bye bye.